if you're thinking of cancelling your TV licence or have done so within the last 12 months, uh, this is what happens next. So if you want to find out, keep watching. Okay, I just received my latest um, TV license in there. Um, I'll put a sticker over my name and address. Uh, and these, these uh, once you once you get used to getting them, um, they sort of repeat themselves. There's all there's all different ones. Will I be in on the 23rd of March? Sounds quite menacing. Think they're going to turn up, but they never do. So um, anyway, if you if you haven't watched any of these videos before, um, I'll just put you in the picture. Um, I've got a big stack of letters here. Um, I'll get one every month after a year. So I'll explain the whole process, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of exactly what happens. So. Um, you call the BBC licensing, TV licensing, whatever it's called. Uh, you tell them you don't want to, you don't need a license anymore. They might ask you why and are you sure you know the rules and all the rest of it. Now the rules are, um, it's not just iPlayer and BBC that you, you mustn't watch. It's broadcast TV, which means anything that's broadcast on any channel, even if it come from the other side of the world, nothing to do with the BBC. If it's a live broadcast or just broadcast, which means they broadcast it and everyone in different places can see it all at the same time, like a scheduled programme. If it's on demand, then you don't need a licence. Um, if you don't watch uh, anything that's not broadcast, uh, you don't need a licence. So be certain that you know the definition of uh, broadcast TV. Um, I may not have given the best explanation, so um, just Google it and find out. So um, once you've notified TV licensing, you, you no longer require a license, um, you'll get a notification through the post. Um, if you've paid up front, they'll even give you a refund. They've confirmed you don't need a license, blah, blah, blah. And um, they'll be in, t well, I'm not sure if they said they'll be in touch. I've got the, I've got the letter here somewhere. Uh, I'll, I'll probably find out. Um, but they say, um, you know, after a year to, 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 to let them know again. Well, I didn't because I'm, I'm not obliged to tell them I don't require their services. The same as you wouldn't call your local shop and say I won't be in today, you just don't turn up. So after a year, um, you start getting letters. And um, so let's have a look at some of these letters. Okay, this one. Your address has been scheduled for a visit by an enforcement officer. Now normally these um, are in windowed envelopes. So you'll get a so you get an envelope with a window in it so you can see the little warning in the bottom window quite often they'll come in red envelopes and this is a, a, even a double whammy as a red letter and a windowed envelope so it's all scare tactics really uh, and I think this red letter business is out of order I sound more or less insinuating that you didn't pay the bill when you know if you don't need to pay it you don't pay it so when you get these letters they're quite intimidating um, don't worry, um, we'll get we'll get round to if anyone actually does turn up, we'll get round to that in a bit. So um, let's have a look. Uh, as a reminder of the law on this one, um, they tell you you risk a fine and all the rest of it. There's another one. Will I be in on the 27th of January? Um, you know they never turned up. I even rung up once. I done a video. I rung them up and said, look, you, you haven't been turning up. Please, will you turn up? And um, Another one, official notice. Um, please read carefully. There's another official notice. Investigation opened. Um, you know, um, so this one, official notice. Will I be in on in June? Dear sir, madam. Right now, this one is interesting. Man. You'll probably definitely get one of these. That's your um, your INO number. No, that's insinuating there's some sort of special case that they got against you. And um, when I phoned up the TV license and I said, um, they want my postcode. And I was like, no, I'm not telling you. Um, you can track me track me off my IN number. And the guy confessed. He wouldn't confess that was fake. I tried to get him to, but he confessed that he couldn't trace me on that number. So total bullshit. Uh, there's another one. Official investigation opened. And uh, they're all from Scott Robson from the Cambridge Enforcement Team. Another official notice. See, this one is interesting. So they're giving me, they're giving me, they're giving you ten days to to respond. I mean, what 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 make them think they can put you under a deadline? Is another IN number one. Uh, official investigation with a fake stamp on the back. Another IN number one. So um, 
I, I don't think this is all of them, to be honest. I mean, that's just um, so you get one a month. You get all the all the envelopes, red letters, and all the rest of it. Um, so let's find the latest one, which I haven't opened yet because I only open them when I do these videos. Now that's a good excuse to make a video, really. Uh, I do like making the videos and editing and all the rest of it, so uh, it's all good fun. So uh, here we go, latest for it. Will I be in on the 23rd of March? The legal occupier at my address told me they they visit 5,000 addresses a day. They visit an address every 10 seconds. No, I don't believe none of this. Day, evening, even weekends. So again, they're threatening to disturb your life and turn up out of the blue any time. Day, evening, weekends. Uh, and I think that's quite disgusting, really. Um, I did get a letter, a couple of letters ago, where they toned it down and they didn't, they didn't get so threatening. And I made a video sort of praising them. Then after that, the, the heavy threat letters started again. You'll get all these threat letters and don't be intimidated. Some of them do look quite worrying and official looking. They warn you they could turn up any time, day, evening, weekend or night. So basically, um, if someone does turn up, they'll be from sort of like a collection, they, um, some company who work for the BBC or TV licensing, and they're not direct employers. They're, they're, they're pretty much like agents working on a commission. Um, and they'll try and trick you and all the rest of it. So basically, if someone does turn up, they have to have ID and identify themselves while they're there. Um, and if they say they're from TV licensing or have you... They'll trick you actually. They'll try to get you to say your name first before they identify who they are and stuff like that. So, anyone on your doorstep, don't say nothing until they identify themselves. If if they ever say that they're TV licensed, and just shut the door. Do not engage with them. Do not even say or oh, don't need a license. Don't say nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, and that's difficult because you just want to really take the piss out of them. And especially if you do know the law and your rights and you genuinely don't need a license, then you, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. Now, obviously, if they knock on your door and you've got match of the day on, or Gary Lanker is spouting away all this nonsense and he can hear it, then that would give them suspicion to get a warrant to possibly search your house. So when they threaten you and say, oh, we'll come back with warrants, they can't without a judge won't sign it unless there's some sort of inclination evidence like i said if they had um, visuals they saw through your window you're watching bbc or, or broadcast tv then they could possibly possibly get a get a search warrant but i think that's very rare to be honest and in fact it's very rare for them to even turn up despite visiting an address every 10 seconds um i'd have to work that out actually um that is quite a phenomenal number and i think you'll find that it's well 16 hour on it every hour of the day so 225 that's a lot anyway so um if you genuinely don't need a license don't be intimidated don't be threatened um look at the letters and read them and have a good laugh and a giggle even make a youtube video um that is good fun don't worry if you genuinely don't need a license uh, there's nothing they can do and, and and really the secret is to not engage with anyone don't talk to anyone um just shut the door on them if they won't leave your property yeah get a camera out start filming them for evidence call the police if they won't leave your property they got no legal rights whatsoever, no legal right to enter your house, and um, yeah, good luck with it. Um, with all this furore going on with Gary Lineker and all the rest of it, I, I don't really give a monkey's. I, in fact, I stopped um, my license because of Gary Lineker. Um, I only used to watch Match of the Day once a week with a buddy and have a couple of beers, and he started bringing politics into the sport. So that's not about what Lineker's saying or nothing, that's about the fact politics and sport shouldn't be mixed all this taking the knee at football I, I think that's wrong from a political point of view um the cause and all that is irrelevant i just think politics and sport don't mix the same as men in women's sport don't mix um so thanks for watching um i hope that's been of use to someone um if i s sort of stopped you worrying about these stupid letters then, then good um yeah Give up your license, you, you, you'll, you'll never look back, and you won't miss a single thing on TV. I haven't watched TV now for two and a half years, probably. Uh, I don't even see adverts. I, I'm, I'm bemused if I'm sort of visit someone, they've got the TV on. I, I, saw, I don't even know who half the people are. Uh, you know, I go on Twitter and stuff and what have you, but um, I, I don't know who half the people are, and I don't care. So um, that's nice. Don't watch the news. Um, I used to get depressed watching the news every day. Um, most of it's garbage and scare tactics and scare stories and nonsense so um stop watching the news jack your tv license in you don't need it go on. obviously i watch stuff online i use youtube and all the rest of it so um yeah it's been good um i feel like a new man since i gave up my license and uh, i think you will too so um good luck and uh, thanks for watching